Do you have family videos you want to edit on your computer? Maybe they're from converted videotapes from 30 years ago, or they're just clips off of your phone that you want to save. Well, join me in this program. We're going to talk about iMovie and saving your family videos in a way that you're going to love. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt, co-founder of Pixology, and I help teach people how to use their computers to preserve their photos, film, video, their memories for today, 10 years from now, and even generations to come. So this past week or month, we have been converting tons and tons of videotapes from VHS, VHSCs, eight millimeters, mini DVs, and we've even been converting family film, reels of film from the 50s and 60s. And our clients are wanting to know how they can edit all of that. Today's video is going to be on how to use iMovie on a Mac to edit your videos and then get ready to share them with your friends and family. Let's just dive right in to iMovie. On your Mac, you go to your launch pad and you're gonna look for iMovie. You can type it in the search bar if you haven't seen it. Some of you might not have it. The newer Macs sometimes don't have it on there, so you can go to the App Store and download it. So just click on iMovie to get started, and you're gonna see here I have a few uh, video projects in the works, and we will click on Create New. It'll ask you for a movie or trailer. Well, we'll just start with the movie. And this is the general screen that you come into when you start iMovie. Now, the funny thing is iMovie doesn't come with directions. And so it's a little overwhelming to look at. I'm going to just map out what we have here. So right along this left-hand panel, is just the project media listing. And it's showing this because I'm in the My Media tab, okay? If I had any media in my project, which is My Movie 2, it would show up here, but I haven't added anything yet. So the easiest way to add media, whether it's photos or videos, for me is just to drag and drop it from my finder so I've opened up my Finder and I'm in my Downloads and I'm going to drag my wedding video, we're going to see that, into the work area. And then, now it's still importing a little bit, but here we can see in My Movie 2, My Media, I have my 26 minute wedding video. All right, so this box that's to the left of the panel kind of shows you content. And right now, my media is the content that we're looking at. Okay, then the next tab is audio. So sometimes people want to add music or sound effects. So music would be your iTunes library. And sound effects, well, Apple provides you with all sorts of sound effects. The next tab is titles. And this is where you can add captions to your, your videos. And I'll just throw um, this line caption down there. And I'm going to type in real quick, our wedding and uh, September <laughs> 1996, long time ago. Now, you saw I dragged the title down here. I could edit it in this preview screen to the right of the content. We'll come back to that. I just wanted to show you that titles is where you can add the headlines, the captions, and there is a fair amount of options you have there for uh, what you want it to look like. The next tab is backgrounds. So this could be if you wanted to have a divider in between one of the sections of your video or a background, you know, like for my header. Remember, I it's right now sitting on my video. 
So I just dragged the stars background and <laughs> I can see here to the left, you see these two little purple things? That's my caption and it's really, really tiny because my 26 minute movie is compressed into like two inches on my screen. In order to fix that view, I'm going to go to the slider bar and expand the view of what I'm looking at. So now I can see a lot of clips of my, my wedding video. And here is that title that I had dragged. I'm gonna click it and move it over to the stars. So now it looks like I have, you know, something that's easier read. Okay. So back up to our tabs, your title backgrounds, and you can get pretty creative with the um, globes and all of that. I've never used it, but there's other backgrounds there. Then lastly, there's transitions, and these are the things that happen in between the clips of your video or if you have photos that you're mixing in there. So let's just say I love this cube. I use this a lot. If I put that in there, now watch, I'm gonna hit the play. Watch us go from the title screen to, <laughs> to my wedding. It had the little cube turning, it's very cool. Okay, so we've talked about these items on the left hand of the top half of our program. Media, audio, titles, backgrounds, and transitions. Okay, now, we probably want to edit our video, like cut it up, take out some of the things that we don't need. And that happens when you select a piece of your video. So right now I've selected my entire video because it's one piece. Well, I noticed right off the bat that I have this blue screen in the beginning. That's no fun. So I'm going to use this white vertical bar. I can drag it back and forth. Some programs I think call this the scrubber. And I know I'm gonna just click it right there. And then I wanna split the clip. Splitting the clip can be done three different ways. First, you can go under modify and click split clip. All right, but that, that's kind of putsy to have to keep going up there. You could control click, hold the control key down and click and get split clip. Or you can be like me and use my favorite. It's the command key and B. And there now I have two pieces. So I'm gonna take that first section and I just hit the delete button and now it's gone. Okay, that is kind of cool. So now, as I scroll along here, how about um, we've got, you know, people walking into the church and now I think is when the procession starts. So I'm gonna just put my uh, scrubber bar there and got my vertical bar and I'm gonna stop it there. So I'm going to titles and I'll just drag this title down and I'm gonna put procession. Okay, and now when it plays, we'll see. Okay. Now you get the idea, okay? And don't you just love the quality? This video was in 1996. It's just great to have this. So there's me looking up at my husband, waiting, you know, to get, um, get the ring on. I'm really... I'm just not seeing anything else that I want to edit on this photo, on this video. So I've added procession um, and let's just say I wanted to add that audio piece. Um, here we can go to the, to the end here. Oh! So this actually goes um, from the line to our reception. 
So, oh, there's a piece that I probably don't want to save. So I'm going to do that control B, break it. And now we're at, you know, there's just a second or two in there as it transitions to the hull. So I'm going to break that section. Control B, split clip is really split clip is what we're doing. And I delete that. Now this is clearly a new set part of the day, and I would probably want to put another divider in there and a title that says, I forget which one I used. I don't think it really matters. We'll just try any of them. And I'll just put um, reception, okay? And now, I don't have any music there because that's a background. And then the reception is just people walking around. No music has started there. So I could go to audio and I'll go to my music collection and I don't know what to add. Um, we'll just add this seasons. Could be something else. So all I do is I'm dragging that music and I just drag it and it will pop in under the video and uh, fill in. I don't need it to go any further. So music works the same way. You can select it, the yellow boxes around it, hit Control B, and I split it there also. So I'll delete it. And now we're gonna add a couple transitions. Well, maybe one. <laughs> that cube so we know that I'm really transitioning to a new part of the wedding and we'll hit play. I could also hit the play in full screen here. That's kind of cool when I do that. I see it full screen. I think you see what happened there. Uh, I was in the reception line. We turned to the background with reception. I had music playing in the background. There's a lot of ways to edit these things, okay? Now, we just talked about splitting clips and adding music transitions in a background. There is much more that you can do with a, a clip so I'm just selecting this last piece. Up above the preview screen, there are a whole bunch of options to help you fine tune and play with your, your video or your photos if you're adding photos in. Uh, my favorite to look at uh, is here, this, this clock. And you can have slow-mo, you can speed things up. Also, there's volume control, and um, you can even edit uh, filter and auto effects. So that's kind of a, a topic for another class. The last thing that you need to do is actually save the video. In iMovie, it's called sharing it. So up here in the top right is the share button, and we're going to click share to a file. And here you can name what it will be, so I'll call this uh, Molly's Wedding. And I can see how big it's gonna be. And we'll save it on my desktop. And then you're gonna see it working in the upper right-hand corner as it saves. The other way that you can do this is go to File and click Share. So you can see that my video is saving and I'm going to return to projects and that will allow me to save the movie Molly and Paul wedding so I hit OK and now I'll be able to open it again in the future and edit it further if I wanted. The video is just about completed. We'll watch it tick to the end. It's finished and we'll go look in our um, finder 
I saved it to my desktop and there you can see is Molly's wedding and I'll double click on it and hit play and now you can see the work is ready to share with friends and family. So what movies do you have that you need to edit? Some people have hours and hours of soccer matches, or in my case, my kids were in band and choir. So every year I have five or six or 10 videos of their performances, and uh, it'd be fun to bring them all together. Leave a comment below about what you have uh, to save, and I'd love to hear that. All right, in this video, we covered how to bring a, a video into iMovie, how to add audio, transitions, titles, and we talked about the work area, how you can split clips and delete sections out. We used a slider bar under the preview so that we could see more of our movie spread out. And we exported or shared the, the video to our desktop so that we could copy it to a jump drive and share with friends or upload to something online. And I think that covers it. If you have any questions that we didn't answer, put them in the comments below and I'll try to respond or put it in another video coming up. And if you liked how we provided this information, don't forget to subscribe. Pixology offers tons of tutorials on our YouTube channel. And we're just crazy about helping you save your memories. That's it for today. Thank you so much, and we'll see you the next time.